Hello, YouTube family. You can see the reflection of my ring light in my glasses because I did not think that through. I just didn't. And now it's too late. We've started. We're going. We're just going with it. Well, first and foremost, welcome to the happiest place on earth that is not uh, Disney World or my living room floor anymore. Um, it's my bedroom floor. I apologize for my um, current state. It is almost 2 p.m. today, and I have been awake since 2 p.m. yesterday. All the way through, I've been awake with no sleep. However, it was very important for me to film this reaction video specifically. This is my first time reacting to a Visual K music video slash song. For the channel, that is. As a matter of fact, me and Visual K have a whole history which I will get into at the end. I think for now we're just gonna jump into it. To be quite frank with you all, I hate the reflection of the ring light in the glass. Ah. I'm just going to try my best to ignore it. I'm going to be reacting to Razor. Oh, look who it isn't. I'm going to be reacting to Razor's new music video and song, Union. Razor are one of my favorite bands. I know I mentioned this in a lot of my videos that I have like a top three favorite when it comes to bands. I have a lot of favorite bands, but at the very tippy top of my favorite bands is like a bronze, silver, please stop, Astro, oh my gosh, is a bronze, silver, and gold <laughs> band. And within that top three, of course, as I've said before, is the band Dexcore, which I talk about a lot on this channel. Why does my cat hate me? My cat literally just like knocked over everything and I just had to rearrange it. And he's like, fuck you. I'm going to knock it over again. Anyway, Razor is also at that top tier. Razor is one of those top three favorite bands. I love and appreciate their music very much. I could probably wax poetic about that band all day. Even though they are technically visual K, okay, their genre extends much more beyond that with influences from Western hardcore bands, um, even like old school Brit punk bands. You get all kinds of cool like Easter eggs when it comes to Razor, but now they have something brand new. And without further ado, I'm going to jump into it. I'm really excited. Very cool visuals. We're spinning. That's a reoccurring theme with them is we spin around them a lot. Okay, outfits are cool. Ryoga has such peak, like, vocals. But his screaming is very delightful as well. It's very like funky vibe. I dig. Ryoga looks like a psychopath. A lot. I like that. It wouldn't be a Razor song if we didn't have like a, a whoa, a repeating whoa oh. <laughs> oh, Corey, you always look cool. Oh, 
honestly, I didn't know what to expect when I saw that they were coming out with new music, but it was definitely not this vibe. It's very, like, fun. Funky. Oh, wait. I'm, like, talking over stuff, and I'm missing good stuff in the instrumentals. Everybody looks really cool. Okay, okay, Sarugi. Sarugi is a vampire, I swear to God. Oh, are we finally taking the sunglasses off? There we go. I have to, like, watch Astro out of the corner of my eye. Nikki! Isa! I really like what those guitars are doing there. From the concept pictures, I didn't know how I felt about the new styling, but seeing it in the music video now, I like it. Okay, so that was very, like, groovy, funky, fun, and, oh, that glare again. I guess I just have to sit here like this from the, from the side slightly. But this, this vibe is definitely, like, different than the last time we got new music from them, because the last time we got new music from them was Countdown, like, late last year, and that was an epic 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 moment we got vocals from Koryu this very epic like emotional song <laughs> one day I'll learn to start recording my videos with the door shut so that the cat can't get in here anyway I like this a lot but I do believe that this one has to grow on me a little bit more whereas countdown I like was obsessed instantly but I think it's just because like the vibe is so different maybe like we're getting into spring summertime so we're going with a little more upbeat of tempos and vibes which I definitely appreciate it's not it's boring if you just release the same type of thing every time no matter how good it was initially I love the styling I always assume that there's gonna be some sort of extreme like looks involved but that's just visual K for you speaking of which um, my history with visual K I have loved the genre since I was about 10 11 years old I started with um, the popular visual K groups of that time which were Deer and Grey, The Gazette, and Alice 9. Now they're just known as A9 I think and of course before them there was like your your Gact, your Hyde, your Malice Miser, your Mwadi Small, your Larkin Seal, your 
all that stuff, and then your anime stuff, like Maximum the Hormone, and uh, Abingdong Boys School, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Nightmare, all that good stuff, and then it eventually Despair's Ray, and um, stuff like that came on the scene. Exist Trace, which, Exist Trace actually still make music and perform to this day, which I found out I found this out like last year. But anyway, this is a, a genre that I know and love. And if you guys would be interested in seeing me react to more like Visual K and J-Rock, um, new stuff that comes out, let me know. We can do maybe like a little deep dive into some history when it comes to this genre. Razor is a great representation of the evolution of this genre while still taking a lot of the classic elements, the theatrics, the glitz, and the glamour, whereas um, Dexcore are fantastic as well and still um, technically in the visual K umbrella. They're a lot more of like a modern take, like a deathcore, metalcore, um, heavy metal, death metal take razor keeps it a little bit more on the traditional side and both of them have their appeals i actually would love to do like a whole in-depth video on razor as a band and their place in the genre again if that's something you guys would be interested in let me know um they also put on a banging ass live performance now i've never seen them live personally but they do have like full-length concerts available on youtube not sure how legal it is, but it's still up, and it they've been up for a while, so I guess it's fine, right? And, you know, I have so many thoughts that run through my head when I watch them live, and I always get really excited when, like, a new concert of theirs, like, a full-length concert of theirs gets uh, released. They're very fun, and each and every member have a unique vibe to them, and a part of their design, you could say, as a member of this unit unit that makes them unique not to mention um just the diversity of them as people we've got people like sarugi and ryoga who are pretty much j-rock visual k ogs they've been there for a hot minute sarugi actually was part of a band that um was making music when i first got into visual k like a long ass time ago like i said i was somewhere around 11 years old and then you've got um kids that are like newer to the genre of course i say newer as in within like the last within like the last decade like nikki and Iza, their um drummer and bass player and then you've got uh koryu playing guitar as well koryu is actually chinese he brings a very unique flavor of his culture and he is just so unapologetically like the chinese member and um, even in Countdown that I spoke about earlier, his vocals in that song, he sings in uh, Chinese and Mandarin, if, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's Mandarin. And for him to break into the visual K scene with such like a heavy and thick niche of um, being foreign to a very like Japanese staple genre, I think is pretty ballsy and impressive and I'm here for it. I was so focused on their styling, I actually didn't pay as much attention to like the cinematography and the video itself as I usually would. Since I know and love this band, I'm just happy to see them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm happy that they're back with something new. So I was just kind of taking in their presence as a whole and feeling out the overall vibe of the song and it's really good. Highly recommend that you guys take a look at Razor's complete discography, their music. If you're looking for some really good fun songs that show their variety, I recommend definitely taking a look at Countdown. Countdown has its own music video as well. Then listen to Daybreak. Daybreak is one of those songs that is, at least in my opinion, very like Britpunk influenced. And I also recommend the song and I can never pronounce it, so I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put it here and type, type that in and, and you'll find it. I can also leave a link to it. This song is beautiful. This song will, is like a gust of ice cold air to your face, but in a pleasant way. It's a very beautiful song, like, it, like this song will take your breath away. It's one of my absolute favorites by them. So give them a go, even if you're not like into the visual K genre, you might end up changing your mind by the time you're done listening to these songs. And just in my humble opinion, um, bands like Razor really help keep 
the genre alive and I'm very happy that they are back with new stuff. I know they are currently touring and I hope that they're enjoying every moment of it and being safe. Hopefully whenever I get along with this transfer with my job and um, eventually make my way to Japan, I'm gunning for a transfer date by hopefully late summer, early fall. And they're definitely one of the bands I wanna make sure that I see live as much as possible while I'm there living in Japan. And Haku, my friend who I talk about in pretty much every video, she loves Visual K2, but she's very stuck in her stuck in her ways of what she likes. She does not like new Visual K. She wants nothing to do with the new J-Rock bands of today, but even she makes an exception for Razor and likes them and enjoys their music and um, knows a few of their songs. I think you guys would enjoy them. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are getting more sleep than I do. I swear to God, I'm gonna like, knock down my setup and I'm going to just get naked and craw crawl in my bed and pass away as soon as this is done. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.